So I know you just wrapped up uh, J.P. Morgan's uh, annual uh, high yield and the EM Emerging Markets Conference only about an hour uh, ago, right? Uh, and, and you know, you started off saying, you know, with with uh, 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 short duration, you get five percent. Why don't you just uh, take it? What about the school of thought, uh, which thinks that now may also be a good time to start adding duration, lock in what you can while you can. Well, you know, I, I think the, that what everybody is saying is that this is going to take some time to play out right now, that they may not have to have that opportunity, but you still have just more communication to come out, more data points that we're looking for right now. So 5% for short duration seems to me like a pretty good place to be. I mean, we're more neutral on duration right now, but I don't think that there's anyone feeling that there's a rush where they necessarily need to go long duration. But yeah, I met the EM and the high yield conferences, and it was the EM traders a year ago who really first all this. They knew inflation and they knew that inflation was coming. And I think that realization um, is that, you know, we're going to settle somewhere that is higher than you know, where we were before. We're not going to settle back at 2%. So is it 50 or is it 100 basis points higher? But central banks are going to have to remain vigilant. And I think that um, Powell's commentary has made it very clear that he doesn't want to lose, um, you know, the, the Volcker like see here. The, you know, the prospect that uh, we could uh, see uh, the Fed terminal rate up at uh, 6% or even potentially north of that, uh, what does that mean potentially for, uh, for EM, emerging market uh, assets? Because traditionally when that's happened, when we've had uh, high rates as well as a strong dollar, that's uh, basically made EM assets a lot less attractive. Well, I think that the EM investors are looking at a number of things right now. There's still actually quite a lot of disinflation going on, maybe another 200 to 250 basis points. So it's substantial, but that's going to be incomplete as far as bringing inflation down. I think China reopening is still a bigger factor for emerging markets right now. There was all of this euphoria in January. The markets moved, particularly commodities and equities. And now there's been all of this disappointment. And some of the China reopening numbers will play out more in the second quarter of the year. I mean, we're still looking at you know, six to seven percent growth for the first half of the year in China. So I do think, though, that the more that we look at this cycle, though, it does mean more uncertainty you know, for emerging markets. Anytime that we are talking about these kinds of moves from you know the major central banks. So I think that you know risk appetite is going to remain you know really quite cautious here. It seems more cautious on the corporate sectors. Um, you know, some willingness to really look selectively at emerging yes. markets at some of the local markets.